Welcome back, everybody. It's almost a new year. Farting around, I want to show you something neat. Sit and adjust my seat here. Oh, all right, so I 3D printed. I can put some lights on. My desk is a mess. I've been down here tinkering all day. I 3D printed this mount. Yeah, hold on a sec. What's the other half of it? Here. For a light for the printer. And I did it in white, and I'm doing multiple different colors and some of the pieces for it. It's gonna kind of look like a Lego. It's kind of the idea. But uh, I'm missing one of the colors. Squanchy, my homie Squanchy, has my green. So I'm limited to the green and the blue, and then I'll make up some of the colors, uh, his color, my color, when I get it back. But I wanted to test some of the strengths and stuff like that in the print. As you can see, I'm missing one. So I put it together. There's not a huge tolerance between these, but man, oh man, it's strong. So trying to squeeze it is an absolute joke. So I may go in and I'm almost going to shim it. Um, I have some vinyl that I will put on the inside of this just to create a better gap. But that's not the point of this conversation. It prints great. And I'll show you all that stuff in a minute. But I purposely over-strength and over-strength and over-tighten this to see how far it would go. And uh, I broke it on purpose, and I don't have, uh, I tried to glue it back together, the head of it. So, I went into, oh, look at that, there's another cool feature. You can watch the print through the shitty camera, and it's got a blocker on it, that's funny, on there. But you can go, so I redid four different, and I changed the infill pattern and the density, I made a couple extras, and I'm going to print them in blue. And it gives you all your time and blah, 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 blah. And then I can print plate right from computer right over to the printer. And then it'll magically do it without dingling around with an SD card and stuff like that. And as you can see, there's already a couple accessories. I have my home security camera, my extra one, connected to this. And it got a perfect view of the, uh, the bed. The one that's inside of there is kind of crappy, and I don't know if there's any upgrades for it. Um, I may just leave it alone. Who knows? But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Kind of want to take it apart, as you can see. I've already figured out how to. You can take this plate off. i got a custom plate I'm making for that, and I can get to the insides. So this was my first test at that. This is not the color it's going to be. And it's got my X on there, and it's semi-transparent. So I would love to see if I could backlight it just to be a smart ass. And I did notice this one of my biggest issues with this thing is it shakes so much that it actually takes the freaking coil. So I'm going to make, that's what I'm making here. So that's going to sit here. Or if I use the uh, heater that's over there. But I've got the poop bucket already printed. It's invisible almost, but I got a see-through. That was my hint in my last video, one of my last videos there to stop it from bouncing around everywhere and I've emptied it multiple times but uh, that thing's almost full <laughs> already and there's a couple other things I'm working on so that's going to change a little bit more there's going to be a big change for here and then uh, I'm not liking this and it needs some more lighting there's the little little deal right here that's just not enough that's good for leaving on at nighttime when it's printing and I need to just walk down the stairs be enough light to walk into the room but other than that seeing the print and details and stuff like that and again I'm gonna work on some of this cable management but uh, this thing's been a lot of fun and I've printed a bunch of stuff bunch of stuff F and Chet has now a fancy also it was supposed to be something else but it ends up working out where now he's got a really cool whoop stand like I do which is funny that I actually used with the other printer but that came out really cool. So, yeah, there's a lot of neat features. It's a little bit more user-friendly than the Persa one that I've been working with. And um, I'm digging it. So I'm going to continue to dig in more and understand and learn and come up with some really fun prints, stuff for the house and stuff like that. You know, one of my most complex little crazy things I did with the other printer was this guy here. So I'm going to expand off of that and see what I can come up with. Good fun desk piece. And then... We have our tag sale at the club in the spring. I might print out a bunch of things and uh, see if I can sell them off. So we'll see. 
But that's what I'm up to. Been busy. Been spending a lot of time down here with the week off for Christmas. Burning away the midnight oil, as they can say. So I'm going to get to it. And uh, when I was upstairs cooking, that thing decided to do that. So I'm going to go fix that now. So any idea with the camera mount and all that fun jazz, hit me up. Peace.